<laughs> I'll get angry emails or DMs like, Trey, I was coming to your show, but they were requiring proof of poison. <laughs> How dare you? As if I'm making the choices? You think the venue is like, what should we do? What should we do? We don't know who to ask. You know what? There is this 28-year-old TikToker coming to town. I think he would be wise counsel. Let's ask him what he thinks. I'm just happy to be here, man. So thank you all, man. It means a lot. It really does. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. The Are You For Real Tour, we're coming. A lot of things make me say, are you for real? A lot of things, you know. Especially in the past year or two, there's been a lot of ups and downs for all of us. A uh, particular up for me, big, big life event. I got married last year, which was crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, it was wild. I've learned a lot. One of the things I've learned about is the five love languages. Does anyone know? <laughs> Familiar with that? Anyone know their love language? Anyone? You do? You know? No? You no? Know? Right here? What's yours, ma'am? Me too. Touch! <laughs> what? There's one right up front? Right. The 50 yard line. What was, what's your love language? Quality time. Quality time. Is this who you're with tonight? My husband. Your husband? Okay. How long have you been together? Married two months. Okay, congratulations. First night out of the town as a married couple, or? No, she's like, this was not the first choice, to be honest. Congrats, quality time. So is this quality time right now? Okay. You ain't talking to him at all, so. No, that's good. Congratulations. Happy marriage, y'all. Best of luck to you guys. I, I, uh, I learned my, uh, my love language is physical touch from my chiropractor. <laughs> oh, I'm falling apart. Juliet, I'm, I'm not even that old yet. I'm falling apart. I don't understand. There's guys 10 years older than me right now playing professional football. I don't understand it. I don't. They'll be, the, you see the injury reports every week? They'll be like, so-and-so, he's probably going to play tonight. He has a dislocated knee. Be like, if I was on the team, they'd be like, Trey can't play tonight, he slept on his neck wrong. So. <laughs> hardly watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, man. I have high cholesterol already. Already. I was asking the doctor, what do I do to fix this? He said, it's easy. You just got to cut out all the beef, all the cheese, all the beer. I was like, can we just put the pacemaker in now? <laughs> Those are all the things.